Henry Ford is known as the father of the assembly line that laid the groundwork for America's industrial strength and modern mass manufacturing. This technology created prosperity and won two world wars. An amazing idea that came from one of Ford's engineers when he observed for the first time not an assembly line, but a disassembly line in action. The dream of making the product move as workers stood still performing the same specialized task over and over again is an old one. 900 years ago, the Venetian arsenal got it to work by moving a ship down a canal, where along the way it was fitted by various workers at different stations. Unfortunately, cars and computers don't float, so it would take the invention of the conveyor belt to create the modern assembly line. Enter Ford engineer William Klan. In the 1860s, Chicago's meatpacking industry made use of a conveyor system. Carcasses were moved along, hanging from hooks, and each worker stood still and removed the same piece of the animal over and over again. This was the disassembly line that caught the attention of the Ford engineer on a visit to Chicago. When he returned to Detroit, he suggested that Ford reverse this process, assembling prefabricated interchangeable parts instead of disassembling animals. It took some convincing, but Ford soon began experimenting with conveyor belts. And it was a remarkable success. Once the new assembly line was perfected, the time to build a Model T car was reduced from a day and a half to about 93 minutes. Amazingly, a finished car came off the line in three-minute intervals. Henry Ford famously said that you can have any color you like as long as it's black. Some have assumed that this was because black paint was cheaper, but the real reason was that only Japan black dried fast enough to keep up with the pace set by the new assembly line. The assembly line soon became the basis for America's amazing ability to manufacture. In peacetime, cars and consumer appliances. In wartime, weapons and planes. Even the Soviet dictator Stalin, the arch anti-capitalist, praised America's incredible machines and said that without their amazing productivity, Nazi Germany would have won the Second World War. Routine work at the assembly line was famously dull, but it increased workplace safety as danger points were more easily identified. Manufacturing labor was paid more and their higher productivity reduced the price of all consumer goods. At last, workers could afford to buy the goods they produced. Of all the incredible things assembled on all those factory lines, the most important one is the modern middle class. Hey, check out these other great videos from Free to Choose Network. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updated on episodes of New and Improved with me, Johan Norberg.